is have at least one or two other Hi everyone. Lovely fruit here with another video. Sorry, I was watching a Christian program uh, which I love uh, women to speak on the gospel. So it's called Better Together. I watch it sometimes, mo most often than not, but um, I like to be inspired. Um, sometimes we go through the same things that other people go through and the intensity of our situation seems uh, a bit bigger than theirs, but it's all the same. You know, we, we, we pray, we have faith, you know, sometimes our faith kind of, you know, withers down a little bit and we we feel hopeless, weary. And, um, but you know, God's promises are going to come through. Well, you know, that's what pretty much what they're talking about, how you, you go through the storm, you go through all the, the mishaps, um, setbacks emotionally emotional beatdowns and just hopelessness all together but at the end of that it may take three four five years but at the end of that if you faint not not and i'm really understanding this now if you faint not then your victory will come and, you know it may be um way down the line but you still will see it because that's in god's promise um we do have to go through the valleys. We do have to go through the storm. We do have to, you know, uh, take the good with the bad, the bad with the good. And um, from that point, we have to, you know, stay strong, stay planted in the Lord. And he will, um, he will sustain us. The Holy Spirit will sustain, sustain us. So I do believe that. And it's, it, it's, it's so funny that I have been thinking about how, you know, every time I get to a place where I want to hear from God, or if I need an answer and I'm confused and, I, you know, my back is pushed against the wall and I have to make these decisions. And, you know, we run to things. We run to people. We run to YouTube for answers, people on YouTube for answers. Now, I did say YouTube is a, a very good platform to learn things and, 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 you know, you know, get in the, in the know of things. However, everybody is not for you. All, sometimes some things are not for you. And sometimes that's not the, the answer God is giving you. But we, we fall into prey on those things and we want um we want because we want instant action we want instant gratification we want god to answer us right here right now do it god because i don't know what to do da, 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 da. and um he will allow he will send you a message he will and uh through the holy spirit um give you an epiphany or give you a, a great message i mean you'll know this is this is from God because it wouldn't be any doubt in your mind about um, it at all. So I know we don't want to hear uh, things. We want to hear the things that we want to hear. And sometimes stuff will pop up, you know, like, yeah, is that, is that what God wants me? Because I was looking at YouTube the other night and this girl came on. You know, a lot of people got channels on uh uh god said and prophecies and stuff like that and um you can't really listen to everybody because some people aren't genuine or some people aren't you know you know carrying god's message so i was on there and i, I, I turned it on and then the first thing i popped up was move god told me to tell you to move you know and i'm like I didn't hear that, you know. I, I'm I'm telling myself, and I, and I, this is on me because I'm I'm saying it out loud, and I'm 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 putting it out there, like in the universe or out there in the atmosphere. In the devil could be listening too, so he already knows, you know. Devil is he 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 already knows what um you're expecting from God, 
You know, he's like listening all the time to see what what he can do to destroy you. He he's listening. He's in church. You know, he he knows the scriptures. He he knows these things. He he remember he tempted God. He tempted he attempted Jesus. So who are you? You're not better than Jesus. So of course there's gonna be that temptation, that that enticement, like, yeah, you should do this. And you know, when God tells you to do something in He's not going to just tell you. He's going to open those doors and opportunities for you to do that, you know. And so um, just be careful. And I got another message this morning to be careful on who we're taking in on YouTube and everything. Just got to kind of follow your heart and know things got to sit right with you in order for you to actually receive what God has to say to you or for what God has for you to do. Um it's not that hard. I mean like you have to be um comfortable with uh who you letting into your spirit or who you're you know taking notes from. You know, you have to you have to have discernment. You have to be um there has to be some type of connection or some kind of, you know, some kind of spiritual connection that you get from that person and that you, uh, you know, it's going to, it's, it's going to be some type of confirmation. It's not going to be just, oh, I did this and this and this and it's got to be some kind of confirmation behind uh, that, that those, where you get your answers from. Um, me, I simply try to talk about since this is self-talk and I hadn't even gotten into the the middle or halfway to starting what I want to do on this channel so I'm basically getting comfortable with myself really self-talks and um talking about experiences and things that happened to me not necessarily what's going to happen to you but what happened to me and maybe there's some type of uh, familiarity to it with you so i don't try to embed things in people or to direct people into um doing something they that they may not feel comfortable with and they might have it on their minds and then all of a sudden I, I say this thing, right? And then taking it as, oh, well, you know, yeah, that's maybe that's what I should do. That, you know, kind of take it to God, you know, kind of take it to God and say, you know what? I think this is what I should do. What do you think? You know what I'm saying? I talk to God and I I try to confirm everything before I start doing, um, doing things that, you know, I'm a poor decision maker. I... Well, I used to be. I think I matured a little, a uh, little bit since my younger days. But I uh, would make hasty decisions, uh, last-minute decisions on things. But I've grown a little bit, and sometimes I really weigh the decisions on both sides because it has to be um, the right decision. You know, some, sometimes there are no take backs. I mean, you got, you got to go through it. And so, um, I try to listen to my first mind. My first mind usually don't stir me wrong, but if I give it enough time, if I give myself enough time, I will talk myself out of it. I will bring in other solutions. I will have, uh, thoughts. I would start asking people, what should I do? I would just like. It would be all over the place. God don't want us to be, like I mentioned before, he don't want us to be double-minded. Um, all over the place, you know, just focus and you'll hear him. You'll hear from God. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's the message for today. Kind of like know um, your heart and know when God is speaking to you because it may easily be... Um, something else that's swaying you to make a decision so just be careful and be be mindful of that and um 
you know, it's your life. You have to live it. You know, what happens to me might not happen to you. It may be a diff it may be the same thing, but it may be in a different circumstances or in a different um season, you know? So I kinda like have to say this, you know, sometimes people on YouTube or people on social media don't always have their lives together. They don't out they're not they not always talking about it either. But they they are looking good. They're looking pretty. You know, children are getting along. Family is great. They got a beautiful home and cars and money and just happy. You know, just have everything. Look, it looks as though they have everything they need. But who's to say that they do? You know, we don't really. We're not really on the other side of that camera. So, I think people that speak from their hearts and 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 um and truly are genuine in their their words you can tell i think you can tell because sometimes when i'm looking at somebody on youtube and i like i like crafts i will go to a craft in a minute how to sew this or how to build uh, this or how to reprogram your ipad i will go to those go to or how to do uh videos in a minute but when somebody is pursuing um to convince you to live this way or uh, make a million dollars overnight and this and this and this and some of those even some of those uh work from home job advertisement things or or videos they don't always be true not all of them are true trust me they're not always true so you have to be the one to have discernment on that you know you know who you are and as long as you know who you are and if you have any doubt about who you are even that go to god he'll tell you who you are because he created you and so um the gifts and the purpose and all that stuff is playing out right now and for a long time i used to I always say this, I don't know my purpose, God, I pray to God, what's my purpose, what's my talents, what's my purpose, and God doesn't necessarily come and say, that's your purpose, do that, this is what you're made of, this is the gift I gave you, this, it's all in you, it's natural, it's going to come out, it's going to come out, you're going to be doing the things, the thing that you, you know, didn't know that was your talent, or you didn't know you were equipped to do that or handle that or design that or fix that or you know help somebody you know and that was that's your purpose we're living in our purpose whatever you're doing that's your purpose you're here for that reason or to uh purposely be in a place at the time god needs you to be to get somebody to you that needs you or needs uh, something from you through him or whatever. So I said that to say this. I know my purpose. Um, we all have um, an agreement, I believe, with God in an assignment and an agreement with God that we don't even know about. You know, this was way before our time. You know, it's a spiritual thing. So I think, you know, we have no choice but to play that out because remember, um god uh created us so i was always told that you're living your life from the beginning backwards like god already know i mean to him god already know your ending god already know your story he saw you before you was even born so he knows where you're going to be next year or what you're going to be doing five years from now or where you're going to be even you know so what we try to do <laughs> it's just we're trying to do it but god already has our manuscript 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 yeah and it's going to play out regardless if we want it to or not we can stay in bed all day and cover our heads and put the covers all over us and wrap around in those covers and put pillows over our head all we want to but that day that you do that that's the day you're supposed to do that 
but you're going to get up and you're going to pick yourself up and you're going to march on and we're going to uh do this thing called life while we're here and um we're going to be okay we're going to be fine and um i don't know about anyone else but i discovered that he must have really god must have really put some thought into making his children because we are so unique we are so genuine everybody is different from everybody else there's a mixture there's a big salad bowl mixture of people and he likes that and he likes our our ideals and our crafts and he likes our um brain power and our willpower and he loves our heart and it's like we're different um and he knows us no matter what we do what we wear the makeup we put on wigs whatever we are inside he knows that and we can be a facade to anybody else and or, or not you know we can be genuine to everybody else but god knows you and it's amazing how he can give you he can equip you with um things that benefit others and he's satisfied with that he's he's good with that yeah he smiles at that so um i'm just rambling right now i had to get on here uh to say hi to everybody it's still morning it's lunchtime really i have to go and get my inspection sticker today so i got up and um got ready and i'm getting ready to go do that um and then come back and um start sewing yesterday i started uh sewing actually not sewing i wouldn't say per se sewing i cut in him some pants that i had been um waiting to do there i didn't want to put them back into the closet until i actually hem them and i've been doing that and that sewing machine is it's a little bitty sewing machine so it's it's like a little starter machine again for me you know it's tiny it's like a mid-sized one but it's not that big one um but i like it and it's you're able to hem and and sew if you like and i just had to get the hang of the stitching and bobbing and all that other stuff again so i was good i was happy about even starting it you know yesterday i started it i did it for a little while and i still got a couple of pair of pants that i want to um him up before i mean i don't have no deadline on it but it's stuff stuff i do want to him before i actually start making you know making things so i'm going to get out there to a fabric store and find some good fabric i mean some good fabric and some good patterns to start to see if I can still do I still have it so I think I do. I oh the one thing I do not care for is um is threading that needle and you have these little pin things that you stick through the needle and pull your thread through but even that is like a strain on my eyes man when you get 57 you can get it up uh, I need to actually get to the point where I can go and um, get my eyes checked again and uh, get a new pair of glasses because these glasses are the last um, prescribed glasses that I have are bifocals, but they have the no line thing. So when I'm looking down, I can kind of read a book. But when I'm looking up, I can see far away, but I can't seem to do the balance because I don't keep them on long enough and I can't really see the, get the balance of them. So sometimes I, I wear them and sometimes I won't. So I think my eyes are changing every six months. Look like they're getting worse. But if I need surgery, I would definitely dive into getting uh, eye surgery because your eyes are important and then the more i strain them i think the more i um mess them up so i'm not in front of the computer all the time every day like i used to be and so i thought maybe that that's a help but uh, it's just damage from over the years so i'm gonna pray 
that I get some type of insurance that I can that can cover my eye my eyes and that I if I need surgery I just need a real good eye doctor so if I need surgery I'm able to afford to do that so that's one of my prayers that's one of my goals uh, that I have for myself you know not only do we have to watch out for our bodies we have to literally watch out for our eyes too that's part of our bodies and my sister one of my older sisters said not my oldest but one of my older sisters said you gotta take care of your eyes you need your eyes da, 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 da. which she's been saying that not to me but to everybody like the last past couple of weeks and so i'm like yeah you do you really do have to take care of your eyes and i've always have but i think this last time um the doctor was trying to tell me something about um a, a, some type of thing going on with my eyes but it's not from diabetic not from being a diabetic which i'm still borderline but they're treating it like i am but it's borderline you know our cholesterol is so high Sometimes your cholesterol is so high, your blood pressure, and, you know, the next thing is um, diabetes. And so you have to be careful not to go over that or whatever. You know, take care of ourselves. When I say love on yourself, that's what I mean. Take care of yourself. If you can't take care of yourself and love on you, love yourself enough to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to go get this mold checked out on my arm because it, it hurts. Or I'm going to get this this ache that I have in my um, breast checked out, you know, you know, stuff like that. You know, when you t do that, when you go check it out, you love it on yourself. You love yourself enough to know, to say, Hey, you know, I'm, this may need medical attention. Don't ever wait until it's too, too, too late. And sometimes we procrastinate because we don't like doctors. Sometimes we can't afford doctors. Sometimes they don't give us the right test. And it's like, it's all over the place, but pray about it. God will deliver you to where you need to be, I think. So, uh, yeah, that's what I say when when you when I say love on yourself and take care of your body. Um, what else I need to do is, um, and I don't take care of my eyes. I always take care of my teeth because my dentist and I talked about, I love my dentist. I go to the dentist in a minute now any second they call so oh, it's time for clean i'm i'm there uh this company is so 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 good i never liked dentists i think they're horrible people that they're digging in your teeth and they're making your gums scratching your gums and it, it's just it's soreness and then that needle and um if they have to pull of teeth or something but i I have to say I've been taking really, really good care of my teeth and they're counseling me on my teeth and then I had my Invisaligns put in and I know my I should be done with them by now, but I have a teeth missing in the back and so the braces does not always stay because your your, your teeth always shifted. Uh I think that the gap is look like the gap I had this big gap in the, between the bottom teeth and i i see them closing but when i stop and i think they're closed here they come scattering again so i still do my visualize and oh, i think they're so sick of me as past my eight months it's actually going on a year and a half now that i've had them to my trays so they're so sweet they're so good that they keep they give me trays until actually i get a what you call those implant things and uh, expensive so uh i'm having to having to keep my trays in all day and all night and take them out i don't have one now because sometimes i don't talk straight in them but they're doing their job i can see they're doing their job so I think, you know, that's another part of your body. Take care of your teeth. You know, we all don't have perfect teeth. And I'm a long way from perfect teeth, but I have decent teeth. So I try to take care of it. Try to take care of them. Try to take care of my eyesight. Uh, I, I would like to hear well. I think I do pretty well on that. Um, praying that I you know, continue to eat right so that my body can, um, 
take its uh, course into going in the right direction as far as uh, healing itself and being healthy. So, yeah, I don't do cartwheels. I don't run anymore. I don't. I don't do any, uh, honestly, any exercises, but I'm going to start. And I always say that if you have in your mind, you set your mind to you're going to start. Then if you keep telling yourself that you're going to start, you're going to eventually start because you're really actually motivating yourself to do so. You just have to remind yourself and you will before you know it, you'll be on the floor doing crunches or push-ups or whatever. You know, you just have to have that very precise inspiration to do so. So that'll happen. And then your your mentality. That's very, 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 very important. Who you give your energy to, who you let trigger you, it's gonna it's going to it's going to affect your body. Your mind is going to affect your body, how your mind, the state of your mind. It's going to, that's why we emotionally eat sometimes. That's why we uh, uh, make awful, bad decisions, bad decisions on what to do in our lives because we're so emotionally uh, distraught, I guess. I think you we let people in our lives that, you know, we love them, their relatives, their loved ones, and we... Um, let them in our lives and they mean well but sometimes they don't know that they're destroying you mentally and you being the person you are the nice person that you are you do not want to uh say stop or hurt their feelings but sometimes hurting somebody's feelings or offending somebody in a nice way does not necessarily take from them because they if they love you they're gonna they're gonna come back but it's just that it's a certain point where you have to stop letting people in your mind taking your energy uh depleting you like i'll suck it now feel like they're sucking the life out of you um i don't know how i don't know how to say this without being me uh turn it off stop it you know limit yourself have boundaries that's what i want to say have boundaries and, and 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 not try to take on everybody's problem you are not god you know we we're made in the image of god but we're not god we're not equipped to take on everybody's burden it's a so big of a deal it's such a big deal you know to try to take the weight of the world you know, you can't do that. You're just one person. You know, you're just one person. Look at Jesus. Jesus went through a lot. He tried to convince people, you know, about his dad. You know, he tried to, he walked and he healed and he he preached and he, he did all these things. And uh, it was hard on him too. It wasn't, it wasn't easy. I mean, you know, God sustained him and gave him the um, equipment that he needed, equipped him with the stuff that he needed to save souls. And uh, he did his job. So God will equip us with enough to to get us to the promised land or get us to where he wants us to be in life. And in doing so, there are going to be some stuff that happens in um I would prefer God to bring that on, bring me to that because I know he's going to bring me through that and he's given, He's going to give me the strength to handle it. But if I go out there and mosey out there by myself and think I can save my sister, which is, I pray that I, I pray that I can save her, but I can't miss it. She's my, she may not be my assignment. You understand what I'm saying? I can give, I can give all i all i want with all my might but she may not be my assignment she may be she may be in a season where somebody else is going to have to bring her through or bring her out because of our our sisterly relationship it may not be something your relatives don't probably don't trust you because they was raised with you they probably don't trust you to be telling them the right thing 
you know where did this come from all of a sudden you really used to be like this you really used to talk like this and you know i i i know you used to be in the club or i know the people used to hang with or something like that like in general and uh they'll be like you'll be the last person that could they would think in their minds that could help them you know but i still try i still go out there and now I'll say, you know, don't do that because that's not, that's not, you know, God like or, or, you know, you'll still put your, your word in, your two cents in, you know, because they're relatives and you want what's best for them. But they're not going to, uh, and I may be wrong on this, but they're not going to perceive you as would somebody else that they don't know. I just know my family. I just know my family. So, but I don't give up hope on praying for them. Or I don't give up hope on um, trying to help them when I can, when I'm, I'm, I'm moved to, when the Holy Spirit asks me to. So I don't, I don't, I don't hesitate. So, but I know I cannot take on the world. I already, I already, you know, acknowledge that with God. I can't, I'm giving him burdens. You know, I'm turning these things that I can't do or, that's too much for me. I'm turning it over to him. And sometimes I forget to. And that's why I get so weary and so uh, heavy hearted because um, I be trying to do the work, do it. I be trying to like, I, I, I'll figure this out. But I don't really have to figure it out. God has it. God said, give it to him. And when he said, give it to him, guess what? He's going to take care of it. So I have to stop trying to lift lift the world up the people that are assigned to me or to hear my voice or to get something from me will get something from me they'll turn it on the, the uh, channel on just in time or they'll uh, uh, get a um, uh, uh, Holy Spirit would guide them to a, a channel that they need or or you know it, it'll happen It'll happen. I do believe that the people that I'm led to are the people that I'm supposed to be led to. The people that are supposed to be in my life for that season. I, I do believe that. So I'm in a season now of uh, resting. I, it's nothing going on, which is okay. It don't have to be nothing going on. But I'm in that season of, of resting and hearing from God. So I'm, I'm just you know, at peace right now. And I don't want to jump up in just because some little bitty um, um, somebody or something come and say, oh, move, I don't want to uproot my life and throw up the towel and start, you know, throwing stuff in a truck and moving and don't have a clue as to if I'm supposed to be doing that because God had not answered me yet on that. And so it's kind of, um, and I'm not going to do anything and then turn around and blame God. So um, it's kind of like you have to know and you have to have that still voice in your soul, in your spirit that tells you, what to do because all my life i always thought the holy spirit is supposed to guide you and i do think that's what he does um yeah so take it from me it's like it's some ugh, this time right here for me oh it's going to be a testimony because it is it, i can't even explain this time this season that i'm going through right now I am moving, but like moving in slow motion, like, uh, but it's a good slow motion. It's a good um, resting time if I could just rest and I'm not sleep rest because I don't need that kind of rest. I need a rest in God and I need to rest in his arms and know that he's got me and I know you got me but i'm not acting as though you know because i'm doing things so if i go out there and you know try to um get into other people's problems so mine can be little uh, yeah you know my problems are still there 
I still got some issues. We all have issues, right? So um, I just need to be still. I just need to be still and know that God is working in my life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So again, it's supposed to rain today. I am going to go and get my truck inspected and I'm going to come back and, and cook me a um it's taco so taco tuesday so i'll go try to make me a, a taco uh of some sort or some wrap or something something healthy i had told you guys i was on fast uh 21 days that i was got off of it uh um last week so um i was gradually going to work myself back up into eating you know an egg or some chicken or so but i had this steak and i in my mind i was like i i'm not gonna let that go to waste i'm gonna make some steak bites got the recipes garlic steak bites and got the recipe and chopped it up in my oh delicious so i ate a little of it sunday i really made some cabbage stew um i don't want to say stew because i watch westerns uh i made some cabbage soup so that I can ease into you know eating and still stay on my um vegetarian kind of like meal plan or whatever. But I cooked that steak and I made some potatoes with it and it was so good. So I ate a little Sunday, had a little of my cabbage, and then um Somebody brought me some food. My daughter-in-law brought me some food, but I didn't. I didn't get to eat that. I just want to ease into eating meat. That's what my mind said. That's what I'm saying, right? So I ate that steak, and then it just was. I'm sorry, but my nose itch. It wasn't right. I mean, it said it was like feel like it sat on my stomach for a day. Then I ate the second part of it uh, yesterday, which was Monday, and uh. I, it took me all day to eat. I ate a piece, some of it that on lunch, and then I ate the rest for dinner. It took me all day to eat that, and then my stomach was hurting so bad. It's like my stomach was saying, throw it up, throw it up, get it out of you, get it. Not supposed to have eaten that or whatever, but my body felt that. It wasn't my mind saying that. My body was like, Lord, what are you doing? What did you just do? You didn't eat me in, and I know a month for sure. And then before that, prior to that, you hadn't had any meat, any ground beef, any kind of red beef or whatever. But I know that's protein. It's good for you, but you just can't throw yourself back out there after not eating meat for, you know, 21 days, 25 days or so. So that's on me. So I'm looking forward to eating, um, my vegetable tacos um yeah I, i'm excited about getting in there making a uh some uh the other day i made some i had mushrooms saute some mushrooms onions peppers i mean you know, the, the green peppers and the red peppers and uh it was so delicious put it on one of those keto flour tortito tortito tortillas and um ooh, and some guacamole not guacamole some avocado on there and it was so delicious i kid you not it was good it was really really good so i enjoyed that and stuff like that i, I was looking in my refrigerator i'm not as neat as everybody else but i was looking in my refrigerator and i was seeing how you can still eat healthy and it tastes good I remember a time you couldn't even get me to look at a bell pepper. Let's um, cook uh, with onions and, and anything else. I like onions, but I'll put them in some beans, but I ain't going to grill them and eat them. And, but now, I love my vegetables. I Oh, look, I got some broccoli now I need to cook. Um, I love my vegetables, and I love to create... Um, dinner meals dinner plan dinner meals and uh, just eat healthy it just makes you feel so good to to eat eat healthy you know eat eat right and it tastes good too 
perfect. Um, but I'm not telling you that I will not eat, go out to eat a, a dinner. So somebody want to invite me out to eat. <laughs> I think I'm going to take it. Um, but no, seriously, I um, try to, you know, consider what goes into my body now. I don't know. I'm, that's what you call changing your mind, changing your mindset, you know, changing your mindset of how, you know, you used to eat. Now you're eating this way. So. It in a stick. I mean, if you have to just keep doing it, you have to keep purchasing those foods, and, and you know it's more so now that you have to run to the store. It's more than usual because your vegetables and your fruit go faster than your canned goods and your pantry items. So you know you got to keep rotating fresh vegetables in. I wish I can get to the point where I can. Uh, Get me a good smoothie thing going uh, every morning and put in those nutrition in my body and having that that uh, having that uh, uh, energy that I need per day. Uh, right now I hadn't eaten breakfast. I had a little water. Uh, don't know what I want for breakfast really. I know it's lunchtime now, but sometimes I I I. I I think I'll get up too late and I start the morning off too late to eat um, breakfast. I do have some oatmeal in there that I want to try. And um, I love eggs. I ain't going to lie to you. I love eggs. I, I'm scared to pick one up. I'm scared to eat one. I did eat one the other day because my grandson was over here and he, I had to make him breakfast. So I did taste, taste one and I tasted his pancakes. So he don't eat too much of my cooking he likes his mom's breakfast and my my aunt, my sister's breakfast more than he like mine's because i guess i don't put enough salt in it or i don't know i ain't even gonna try he's 10 years old he don't need he he don't need a chef per se he needs to just eat or eat some cereal sorry but he too picky but um yeah, I tasted an egg, and it makes me want an egg so bad. I want to go boil an egg right now so bad. And I think that's what I'm going to um, start doing to get my protein. I have to get some protein in now uh, and some fiber and stuff in to my body and kind of keep it up bay. You know, keep start doing portions of things um, that I need for my body and take it from there. Well... I hope everybody is having a good day. Looks like rain, but we're not going to let that stop us. Um, I hope you guys are doing the things you love uh, and um, and that you're loving on yourself and loving on your family. Check on your family. And um, yeah, love. That's what God has made of. So love. And um, hope you're having a good day. Good morning. I hope you have a good afternoon. I have, hope you have a even lovelier um, evening. And I will definitely catch you guys in another video. I had thought about some stuff that I needed to um, recap or re um, talk about, but I need to really start writing these stuff down. I am willy-nilly on these things right so i have a journey journal and that i need to start with writing stuff down because after i go back and see these videos and i sometimes i should have said you know this instead of that you know like the other day i was talking about you know calling on god you know when i'm at a train track and and um or if I'm um, in a storm or whatever, I call the name of Jesus. And I don't know how people feel about that, but I call on the name of Jesus when I need to. And I'm always saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus around this house because you don't know what them walked in or what kind of spirits, you know, lurking about in outside or whatever, who you've been with, you know, or passed by and grocery store or whatever not saying everybody have a nasty spirit but there are some nasty spirits um 
that could come in and i always always acknowledge try to acknowledge jesus like i always call his name his name is so sweet he's powerful it's powerful so that's just part of my vocabulary and so that's what i meant by going back and when i look at the videos and i don't edit so it's like i should have said that and you know maybe i should maybe i should clear clarify this because i don't want people to get the wrong impression or look at me and say what is she talking about she what that what's that word you know i don't always pronounce my words really good and um i'll say some stuff and i'll say what i meant to say this or i'll speak fast and you won't hear that one little small word in between those words that i say and so i try to uh speak at my best you know kind of like uh think about what i say before i say it because it's in there it's in my heart so it'll come out it'll flow out but i just want to make sure that i'm speaking loud and clear so that i won't you know be wasting my time and wasting your time or whoever else that might pop across this this video so that's what i meant so i'm going to start writing down what i want to talk about but i can't i can't do the manuscript I mean, it has to come, you know, it has to come to me. So when I journal it down, it has to come out, not formatically, but it has to come out in spirit. So hopefully I'll get this thing together. And this is not a, a livelihood for me. If you catch my drift, it's not a... Um, a thing that I'm getting paid for in any of that so I truly would I truly take this as an exercise to me as a, a healing point for my life because I'm shy tip well I was let me say I was shy timid couldn't talk to nobody wouldn't even talk to myself didn't even like to see myself in the mirror less on um uh, in uh with audience so by me doing this, it's therapeutic for me. It's giving me some type of um, healing as far as confidence and, um, you know, spiritually in tune with God and just saying, hey, you know what? It's not about me. You know, I can overlook my flaws because I have plenty. And then I put myself out there because... I, this is what I'm supposed to be doing and so it helps me to be relaxed with myself it gives me a little confident takes away a whole bunch of fear that I have that I'm gonna mess up or I'm gonna say the wrong thing or I'm gonna look the wrong way or something gonna fly out the air or something gonna fly by me or or I, I have to get over that <laughs> fear the fear and not worry about it and just shoot my shot and just go do it you know because um i pray that the holy spirit is um guiding me to you know and so i don't know what else is there to do i just know um when as when it's time for me to speak i'm i'm going to speak i wish i could bring you guys and i said i would i wish i could bring you guys more different videos you know like hair videos makeup videos but those things are not as important as your soul you know you gotta you know know your soul is um in need of things you know so i don't know i i i i might be in the mood to do a um question and answer thing sort of thing and um a hair tutorial i i don't think i would be able to do it i can tell you how i styled a talk to you about it but actually getting on here and doing it is a different thing for me i already don't know how to uh, uh edit anything so i'm not gonna get up in here and make a fool of myself i think i'm cool I think i'm cool on that so <laughs> okay i i'm not gonna keep you guys it's um it's been real talking to you guys. I hope you guys like my videos. I hope you guys sit in your minds to subscribe to it, like it or whatever. I don't know what, even know what that means. I guess it 
brownie points i hey you know that's up to you that's up to your heart i feel like anything that moves you anything that makes you a ounce better than you were before you saw it an ounce better then i think that's good i think that's a uh uh deserving brownie point uh however you want to look at it so i i hope i help i pray and hope that it's one person at least one person even if it's my daughter one person get me you know one person say you know i can relate i can relate yeah you know? and that would be wonderful that would be great you know so i gotta say bye i gotta get this show on the road and uh please have a good day please have a good day and take care of yourself enjoy the day okay love you guys have a good one bye